Let's go through the Barker Centre. Well, welcome to the uh, Barkhorn Football Stadium here for the uh, Moss Group Trophy Challenge. Our first game today is the reserve grade game. To be refereed by Mr Lee Cronin from Longridge. I'll just go through the Barkhorn inside. Number one is Jason Hayward. Two, Darren Hayward. Number three, Christy Bleacher. Number four, Cameron Spencer. Number five, Jason Pierce. Number six, Eddie Bleacher. Number seven, Billy Bond. Number eight, Ross Matthews. The big props, he's uh, come back through reserve grade. He's been away at college, this lad. And uh, I'd say it won't be long and he'll be back in the A-grade paddock. Uh, number nine is John Power. Number 10, Merv Cullen. Number 11, Dave Roberts. Number 12, Paul Walsh. Number 13, Paul Kempson. Reserves are Ian Coveney, 14. Scott Cowan, 15. 16, Mike Aylett. And 17, Labasse Sears here. Yes, um, coached this year by uh, Lyle Balderson. And I, I've just been told we've uh, got a few of the old stalwarts uh, hitting back uh, at training as uh, Nigel Balson and Kay. There's the coach there now at the moment. Lyle Balson giving last minute instructions there to the uh, the Bark Hall and Six and what he wants uh, in the game plan. I see referee Cronin has called play out. They're waiting for the Longridge players. A bit of a hold up there with referees and touch judges. Touch judges there's uh, Herbie from uh, Alpha. Jeffrey Hippert it is. And I I don't actually know the long range touch judge. Obviously he's a new new um, new to the task. I haven't spotted him before. We see the long uh, Barkhorn boys come out on the field. Very keen to get a uh, notch up a win even though this doesn't count for competition points. It's uh, just a reserve grade friendly virtually for the Moss Group main game to commence about 3.30. Anyway, a bit of confusion here with one of the Barcourt and A grade players wanted to pinch one of our chairs. <laughs> big Max, you big brute. <laughs> the re referee's very anxious to get this underway. We still have him spotted the long side here. A big day of racing here um, yesterday in Bar Uh The main event taken out by a rural I think its name was, uh, Springshaw Horse. Took out the big uh, $10,000 prize in the main feature race, the uh, RDF uh, Heritage Cup for May Day. Uh, May Day celebrations tomorrow. We've got a big um, procession starting about 9.30, 10 o'clock uh, to kick off from around White Service Station. It'll proceed down main, the main street and uh, finish off here at the uh, showgrounds. Uh, we have a record number of floats. So I think there's something like 26 floats for tomorrow. Or well, they were hoping to have 26 floats, last count. So an all a big day tomorrow. Um, big $100 sprint on offer to both the uh, women and the, and the males of the Central West. Anyone would like to go on that? have the uh, longest team in front of us. Uh, we can't give you any of their players' names at the moment. Who's got your card, mate? Dave, you haven't got it. 
Now we see um, the kickoff of the game's gone down deep, picked up by the Longridge fullback who brings it back. He's met in good defence underneath by Cullen over the top, uh, finished off by, I can't pick that player, I think it was uh, the front row for Barkey, number eight was Rossi Matthews, it was. The Longridge players lost the ball there, play on to the referee. So a mistake, Longridge under pressure right from the word go here, about 20 metres out in their own line. Barkle on the attack here, Billy Bond ducks under a high one, gains a few metres up, about 10 or 15 metres out from the Longridge try line. Barkle and go on the attack through Eddie Blue too, ducks under one. Cuts back inside and he's wrapped up, flicks the ball out the back. Taken away across the open side there, out to the winger. Young Hayward goes for the corner, lines the corner up. Oh, he's put his foot into touch and taken by the defence. He's run right into touch then. And wrapped up by the Longridge defence there. So a good covering tackle there for Longridge to save the try. And a good work there by Bleacher to keep that ball alive. So I see a scrum go down about uh, 10 metres out. And 10 metres in from touch. The new ruling now that scrums will be packed uh, 10 metres in from touch in any position. To be fed in by Longridge. Referee there just uh, telling the prop forwards there what he wants in the scrum. Looks like it could be a Bark Alden ball, yeah. Come out, taken away by Bark Alden. What's he done here? He's caught the Bark Alden blokes up inside the 5 metres. So a penalty to Longridge. I don't know what Bill thought was happening there, but anyway, we'll see a uh, longish with a clearing kick. A fine touch here. That won't fine touch that kick. Taken by Hayward there, juggles it and runs it back inside. Pierce, is it? The young constable here from Barcaldon. He runs it back up towards the halfway line. Over the halfway line goes Murphy Cullen, flips a pass out to, I think it's Paulie Kempson there. Had a season A grade last year, but he's worked his way back into the B grade, and maybe A grade in, in a couple of weeks. Rossi Matthews, the big prop, takes it down the middle. Gains valuable territory. Ball goes sideways. It's gone backwards, says the referee. Play on here, power dummy half. Gets it across the open side of Christy Bleacher, who cuts across field. He's a handy player, this fella. Right on it. And we see a little knock on there. Bleacher's lost it in the tackle. We'll see a scrum go down about uh, oh, 20 metres out from the longish line. Midway between the 20 metre line and the uh, try line. Put in by Longridge. Taken away by the young halfback and the referee's not happy with that. Straight in and out. Well they've twisted the scrum this time. The referee says Look, Longridge will come away with it. So Barkle to, to uh, defend again. They've got Longridge inside their own 22 where they want them. And a good bootlace and tackle there by Billy Bond. He'll go for no marker there, and he goes again, gains a few more metres, and cut down by Eddie Bleacher. Oh, he's gone without this fella. Knockbacks is a referee, and the longest players make it up over their own 22. In the centre field here, and they go back for the clear and kick here, said, get us out of here. That'll just... No, it won't go out in the full, it's a good kick too. Puts it just inside... Yeah, mate. Puts it just inside uh, Bar Coulton's territory. About 10 metres, in fact. And sideline of Herbert there says... That's where the mark is, referee. We'll pack a scrum. 10 metres in from touch. And 10 metres in Barkle's field of play. Billy Bond here to feed this scrum. Put in by Bond. No, the referee's not happy with that. We'll have it in again, he said. Come taken away by Bond and flicks it back to Pierce. Pierce there, doesn't know what to do. Cuts back inside. They try to drive him to touch. He's lost the ball. Well, another bad blue there for Barkhorn. Longest players picked it up and driven backwards by Power and Bond. He'll take it away from Dummy Half there, that player. The young hooker, I think it is. Another second row just for Longest. Sorry, I haven't got the team players here. I'll be able to pick you up very shortly. Wrapped up by Matthews. Back it comes the open side. Bleaches through very quickly on that player. What's he done here? Cronin's going to lay the law down to Eddie Bleacher. Well, I didn't think that warranted a, the, the player was heading to the ground to start with. Obviously, he's a bit high. And we'll see a penalty to Longridge here. We'll, this will put them well on the attack here. It'll test the six out here. Longridge fine touch. Right on the 20 metre line. Long as the tap restart. 
Taken by their front row forward, he goes down the middle, gains valuable metres, only 10 metres out from the back all line now. And good defence by Power and Cullen. And uh, Roberts it was too. They work the blind side here now, the little half exit. Where am I now? And he's driven backwards, Roberts and, and uh, Kempson driving back. They'll play back now, they work the open side long reach. The lock forward there, spots are opening, driven back, and good ball will tackle by Bond. 10 metres out from his own line. I'll go the open side again, Longridge. Wrap it across field and Chrissy Bleacher comes in field. He's left the gap out there. And the big, big uh, young Rusty there. That's lost it forward, Rusty. He made a valuable metres towards the try line, but he's lost it forward and Barkle can come away with it. Good run by Power to clear it out of here. And young Darren Hayward said, I'll get it out of here. He's trying to play it. Longridge players got out of the, the play the ball area. We'll see Murphy Cullen down the middle of a good run up towards the 20 metre mark. A valuable territory made there. He'll play back to Power. Power's got the open side set here through. Billy Bond picks up big Ross Matthews who bounces under a high one. Well, he's being consistent, the referee. He's called number 10 across. Call him across. Well, he's being consistent. And obviously the tackle is a bit high. He's take a bit to hurt the big moose, but uh, they call him Brick in, in uh, plumbing terms. We'll see a penalty there. He should have bar called and Christy Bleacher said, I'll put it out here. He's not going to find touch with another mistake. Long swing of there, brings it back into field and he's met underneath and good ball and all tackle. Low tackle there by uh, Spencer, is it? And the longest defence, longest attackers snuffed out there about midway between the halfway and the quarter line. They work the open side, they've got the big offender there, the big front rowers, and they're all keen to get up there and give him some. And he's put to ground there by Kempson and Co. Underneath Eddie Bleacher. Good tackle there from Ed. Back it comes now. Big Rusty said, I'll run it wide again, the big fella. Slips a pass at the back. No, it's not Young Parsons, sorry. Anyway, Longridge worked the open side now. They've got they've got numbers out here if they can get that ball wide. Now they skip out one or two players. Here's, here's trouble here for Barkle. No, the Longridge player couldn't take the ball. He's got his hand on the line. They'll play the knock-on first here. We'll see a scrum go down. No advantage to Barkle. So 10 metres in, we'll see another scrum. Oh, a bit, a bit keen and eager, the, the players at the moment. Thanks, mate. Well, I've got you up to date now. I've got the Longridge players here. Uh, Parsons it is the uh, second rower. You know, put in by Barkle and taken away by Bond. Well, those players are out very quick. Well, they weren't offside, I know nothing. And we'll see a scrum go down. Well, uh, a lot of mistakes and a bit of eagerness here. The Red, red Six having a bit of trouble holding that pill. We'll see it taken away by Longridge. And Kempson out of the scrum very quick. And driven back the little halfback. That's uh, Ivers, I think it is. And we'll see the... I can't pick that player up. The second row it was. Number 11 is Walker. Longridge worked the open side and the little halfback spots. Eddie Bleacher coming and cuts him out. Picked up by Bark on for Hayward. Hayward there gets it up over the 22. What's he going to rule here? What's he done here now? The referee's called someone out again. Referee Crane, and he's keen to lay the law down to him. Well, he's, he's awarded a penalty to Longridge, and surely they'll take two points here. They could heal this over the bottom bill of a duck. And he'll take two points here. He'll take a shot at goal. Uh, the Red Six will have to just settle down and uh, concentrate on the football. The little halfback it is is Ivers. Well, uh, Darren Ivers, I think his name is. He'll attempt a shot at goal here to try and open Longridge's account. So it'll be about 10 minutes gone in this first half. We've seen a number of penalties issued for head eye tackles and a bit of a scuffles in back play, but uh, he's been consistent, this Lee Cronin. Moves in, strikes it well, a little half act. Up go the flag, so two points to nil. And we'll see the Red Six bring it back. Yeah, 
So we see uh, play to restart. Christy Bleacher to bring it back to the halfway line. And we see a restart there, and it's driven down, picked up by a little fullback. And Lashford it is. He's tackling un underneath by a good tackle on John Power. They'll work it across the open side. I can't pick that player up for long. It's hard to pick their numbers up. And I see number nine, the hooker there is uh, Graveson. Gains a few more metres midway between the halfway and the quarter line. Yeah. I still can't watch their numbers. I'm looking at their numbers. They're, they're dark on that blue. And you? Anyway, I'll see... Um, Young Hayward is. Darren Hayward brings the ball back. Longridge kick downfield. He beats the first first defender. And what's he got here? Referees call someone out here. Well, sooner or later, there's going to be 10 minutes in the bin for someone here. And 15 it is for Longridge. There's uh, Nick Lawrence, it is. Threw a bit of a high arm into the young Hayward. Young Darren, but he's okay. He's back on his feet. The referee's just going to point it out that I've had enough of this. The next next stint will be in the bin or off, I think. Oh, penalty to Barcool. Well, surely they can put this into touch this time. Oh, quick taps as uh, Billy Bond gains valuable metres up towards the halfway line and just into Longridge territory. He'll play back. Powers there looking for runners. He goes the, goes the uh, open side on his own. And it's cut down by a good tackle by Lawrence. Play it back now. It comes across to Billy Bond. Turns in the tackle. Looks for support. Bounces out of one. Can't get past the good tackle there by the hooker. Way it comes now to Mervyn Cullen. Uh, Ross Matthews said, I'll work the open side. He gains a few more metres midway between the quarter and the halfway. Long reaches the end of the field. They work the open side. Eddie Blues just said, I'll put it on the toe. No, it's gone down to Lashford there. He runs back and picks it up. Beats the first defender. Runs across the open side there. The blind side, sorry. And falls the ground there and taken by Hayward. He'll play back now. It comes back to you. I can't pick the number on that player. These Jews are very hard to pick up numbers. He'll play back to Longridge. Gives it back to his little halfback. He finds a runner there. And he's met in solid defence by, uh, I think it was Paul Kempson, I might have known, and uh, Dave Roberts. Back it comes now to Parsons. And gets it up towards the, the quarter line, or over the quarter line. And he's taken a good defence by Mervyn Cullen. Back it comes the little halfback. And they try to charge it down. He kicks it down straight downfield and picked up by Hayward. Jason Hayward it is. Runs it across field, looks for support, but takes a tackle. And he's caught just, just inside Barkhorn Territory. Young, his brother, uh, Darren, goes from dummy half and gets it up over the halfway line. And he's held up by three defenders there for Longridge. And Johnny Powers said, I'll go on my own, but it was a bit of a waste of time there, Jack. We'll play it back now. We've got Rossi Matthews at dummy half, picks up Billy Bond. Goes to no one. David Roberts goes there. Billy Bond says, I'll dive on it. I don't know how he worked that out. How, how could a player that threw the ball be offside? <coughs> and Billy Bond, they're a bit unlucky there to be penalised for that. Long wish to try and find touch in here. Who the big prophet is, uh, number 10 in Russell. James Russell, I think his name is. He finds touch just outside the 20 metre mark. Long wish to take the tap start, restart here. Back it comes down to the big prop himself. He says, I'll have a run I can kick too, he said. And he's hit, hit ball in good defence there, wrapped up ball and all. Ross Matthews and uh, Kempson and Roberts there in the tackle. Back it comes near the open side. That looks back inside and keeps going. The little halfback puts his head down. Can't, can't get through the defence there. And gains valuable metres. The ball goes backwards. It comes to Lawrence. Lawrence trips over and gains two or three metres there over into the 20, 10 metre mark. About eight metres out they are, Longridge on the attack. They worked the open side. They, they've gone the wrong way, I thought. Picked up by Barkall and young Hayward. A little winger, he can't stay in. He's gone into touch. And obviously resented the tackle there. Now we'll see a scrum go down with a Longridge feed. So they're still on the attack, Longridge. So about uh, 80 metres out from the Barkall line, we'll see another scrum go down. Put him by the half back in uh, Ivers, it is. And Bond comes away with that. Well, against the feet again. Well, they've turned it around a couple of times, these blokes. And they want some runners here, and Roberts says, I'll get it out of here. The big Kiwi forwards take it up over the 20 metre mark. Gains valuable metres. 
And a good run too. Back it comes from Power now. He picks up Ross Matthews. Well, this fellow's got a lot of A-grade experience and gets out of one or two. Looks for support. Gets a good pass out the back to Paul Walsh. Backing up there. Good, good support it was. Back it comes now. It's got uh, Johnny Power. It is wrapped up by the centre and uh, Searles. Bonded dummy half. Looks for runners. He's got no one. He said, I'll go on my own. Down the middle too. The only way he knows this fella. And he's wrapped up just inside the Longridge Territory. Good tackle there for Longridge. A little half it was. Back it comes out of Christy Blue. Just puts it on the tail. And he's gone through to regather. Oh, it's gone backwards. Play on, says the referee. Pick it out the back to uh, Jason Pearce. And oh, what a bad little... Um, Set of six there, and they'll see a hand over the first one of the match. And they kept that ball alive there, the bar called him back line. And Jason Pierce has come here and he's grabbed that bloke and driven him backwards in a good defence. They'll work the open side now, Longridge. I think it's, it's uh, no, it's not Lawrence. Couldn't pick that player for Longridge. Knocked down by the bar calling player. What's he rule here? No advantage to Longridge, so we'll see a scrum go down. He's having a bit of a yarn to the half back there. Um, that scrum to waiting for it to pack. He's looking forward for another prop forward there. Put in by Longridge, taken away by Longridge. The little half back comes away with it. And he's taking the ground. Good defence. Kempson out of the scrum very quickly. And uh, Mervyn Cullen it was. Longridge take it away now. I can't pick that player up. A bit hard to find these players out until they actually turn around. These Longridge blokes. Those numbers are hard to see. And he, another player there makes valuable metres. Number nine it was the uh, Graveson. They work the open side now. Looks for the big prop, and he's wrapped up ball and all, and a good tackle there by the centre and Christy Bleacher. Says, come here and takes him to ground. They work it back now to get a clear and kick away there. Down it comes to young Hayward, it is. Jason Hayward who runs it back over the halfway line, and he's wrapped up in good defence there. Right on the cricket put pitch area, put the ground. Power dummy half. Said, we'll go the, go the blind side, and Billy Bond there's got support outside him. Oh, and Hayward there had a bit of a look. Went without it. It'll be a little knock on. Now we'll see a scrum go down. Another scrum, they said. It'll pack, pack down about midway between the quarter line and the halfway in Longridge's territory. All taken away by the Longridge halfback. He's put the ground by Cullen. He broke from that scrum very quickly. It was uh, Ive as it was. They work it back now. And a good, a good lay tackle there. He gets a pass away. Still going Longridge. They're on the attack here. Picks up Lashford there and he's ridden the ground there by Christy Bleacher right on the halfway line. Uh, they've got a player down out here for Barkhall, but anyway, uh, Lawrence it is, it takes it towards the, towards the uh, sideline. Wrapped up by Matthews. Longridge work it back in field. What's he called him in here? What's he ruled here? Floated forward, does it? He's going to rule a scrum. Now the advantage of Bark Hall near the scrum. They've got a Bark Hall player injured there. I think it's uh, number four and uh, Cameron Spencer it is, who is uh, hitting that tackle. Oh, yeah. That's the penalty to Bark Hall and passing out of that scrum a bit early there. So I'll see uh, he broke from that scrum very quickly there. <laughs> Just about parked there for a week. We'll see uh, Billy Bond to try and find touch. I might say try and find touch. We haven't found it yet. Oh, geez, another wobbly one. Right on the halfway line. What are these fellas be drinking? Water or methane? Played back there with Powers who picks up Big Ross Matthews and down the middle comes the big front row. He'll play back there to Johnny Power picks up Mervyn Cullen who cuts back inside Parsons and gains 10 or 15 metres there. Midway between the halfway and the quarter line. Play back Powers got Billy Bond outside him. He's got uh, Paulie Walsh it is down the middle straightens the attack. And still about the 20 metre mark. Back it comes to Billy Bonds. He's, he's gone without it. And he's knocked it on again. Hey, and we'll see a scrum go down. 
put in by the halfback and uh, Ivers. And the uh, referee's not happy with that. We'll have it in again. Put in by Ivers. It's gone at the back there. Picked up by the little uh, fullback it was. He spins it across the uh, blind side. Picks up his winger there for Longreach and uh, Myers it is. He gains a few metres and taken the ground. Boy, uh, Billy Bond and Spencer back back in the action again. Back it comes now to the uh, prop forward for Longreach. I can't pick his name. I think it's uh, Rollinson. They'll, they'll work the open side now. Out the little halfback says, get out of me road. He run everywhere but the right way. He's played back to first. Little halfback says, I'll go it again. He hadn't stopped this little bloke. And he's ducking under tackles there. He's taking the ground by Spencer. They'll work the blind again. And uh, Jason Pierce says, come here and drives him over towards the truck, uh, touch line. Does well the little, little winger there to kick through. It's back to one. The big front rower says, I'll run it across field. And he's driven sideways, the big fella. And uh, Russell it was. He carted up a long ridge. Taken low by Roberts. Parsons says, I'll go down the middle. He's still going. He's taking the ground about uh, 30 metres out. On the bar and try line. Still two points to nil with about uh, 20 minutes gone in this first half. They'll work the open side again, Longridge. Swing it wide to their backs out. Out to their 5-8 then set outside centre and picked up by, uh, I think it's... Who was there? Paul Kempson, I think it was. A little knock on there. We'll see a Longridge feed. And yeah, Christy Bleach with a bit of a limp there at a... Some concern change for him there. So he's blown the uh, blown time up there for the injured player. Yeah, he's back on his feet again, Bleacher. The referee's blade time back on. And the old interchange being used pretty well here. Little 5A for Longridge and uh, Rob Locke comes back on. Put in by the halfback and Ivers takes it away himself. Looks for his support on. He's gone without a little knock on there, sir, I think. Yes, he'll play the advantage here. No advantage to Barkhall. So uh, we'll have a scrum go down. No, still very sloppy. And And it's Billy Bond it is to put it in this time. Put in by Bond, taken away, and he works the works the blinds around. Eddie Bleacher back in the attack. Ed gets a pass away and goes to no one. Longridge come here and sure, and picked up by Hayward. He dies backwards and gets the ball. Picked up by um, Darren, uh, Jason it is, and gains valuable metres up towards the uh, halfway line. Very sloppy around that play, the ball area bar called. Picked up by John Power and said, I'll oh, get us out of here, and gets up towards the halfway line. A good run by Power. Back it comes now to Big Ross Matthews. Down the middle goes the big fella. And carts it through one or two. Tries to get his pass away, but takes the tackle. Fourth tackle, says the referee. Back it comes now from Kempson. Gets it away to Billy Bond. Out to Eddie Bleacher. Out to uh, Christy Bleacher there. Looks for support. Oh, ducks under one. Flicks a pass at the back. Goes the Longridge player. <laughs> Done picked up by the 5 for Longridge. And uh, I think it's Rob Lock. He's come away with it. He'll play it now midway between the quarter line and the halfway. And uh, taken away by the front row for Longridge and... Uh, Rollinson it is. He's met in good defence. They work the open side Longridge. Straighten it back up now. I can't pick that player for Longridge. But he's taken low on a good tackle. Uh, so Paul Kempson, I think it was underneath. Down the middle comes the... Um, I can't pick this player up either. Number 11, I think it is. They'll play it now. It goes across the open side Longridge. Is trying to use their backs. Gets it away. The little centre finds his outside centre. He finds the winger. The big winger flying down the sideline as uh, Myers it was. And driven into touch. And a good tackle, I think it was the big fella. There's the uh, Barkhorn's answer to Lazarus. Big Rossi, Lazarus, Mo uh, Matthew. Thanks, mate. And we'll see a scrum go down about uh, midway between the 20 metre and the uh, halfway line. Barkhorn's into the field. Put in, taken away by Bond. He gets a sloppy pass out to Eddie Bleacher. Eddie said, I don't want to run with it. I'll give it to me outside backs. Picks up Spencer. 
Spencer, oh, it's a bad pass. A sloppy pass they put on here, these fellas. That's gone behind the longest player. Play on, says the referee. And young Hayward there drives in towards touch. A good ball, little tackle by Bleacher and Hayward. They've made up for that mistake there. And young Longish player says, I'll go on my own. Playing hooker, this little fella. Uh, I think his name is Graveson. He's driven towards touch there and stays in. Back the open side comes the big front row, runs it up there, and he's driven backwards, gets a pass away. We have the ball there. Play on, says the referee, and Jason Pierce takes the ball. Oh, very sloppy play there, but back to first as a referee. Played it again, so it's back to first again. Rossi Matthews said, said, I'll get it out of here, and he strains the attack. The big fella's gone through him. Oh, look at this. The big front row. Oh, she's got past him. Have a look at this on TV. She'll send copies to everyone. He slips it past to Billy Bourne and said, I'll go down under the post. Well, the big front rower. Big Roscoe, she's bursting down the middle. Barkhorn's answer to the uh, Barkhorn's answer to the big big front row from Sydney, Lazarus. <laughs> big Roscoe, Lazarus, Matthews has burst him down the middle. And a good support play there by Billy Bond. Billy Bond had uh, backed up well there and scored underneath the post. So uh, they've hit back well from a long-reach mistake. A comedy of errors, but uh, they've made up for it there. Converted uh, the error into points. And we'll see the score now. Four points to two with Christy Bleacher about to attempt the conversion. Right in front of the sticks. With about 25 minutes gone in this first half. So it's Bleacher here, moves in. Oh, strikes a shocker. <laughs> what a shocking kick that was. But anyway, four points to two. It'll only get better. And he'll, we'll see Longridge now bring it back. Bring it back to uh, restart at the halfway line. So four points to two with about uh, 12 minutes to go. Four points to two with about 12 minutes to go. I've oh, got some friendly assistance here. They're pointing out to me who's who's Uncle Eddie and uh, how you going, boys? Watching the football? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's your name? Brendan. Brendan. What's your name, mate? Daryl. Daryl. Is Uncle Eddie out there? Yeah. Where? What yeah. number's he wearing? Six. Six. Yeah. Uh. Three. All right. You're enjoying the day, fellas, eh? Good game? Yeah. Thanks, fellas. Guest commentators there, little bleacher boys. Anyway, we see knock on, says the referee. Knock backwards. And bark on and take it away. Through Johnny Power down the middle. As only he knows how. And gains valuable metres up over the 20 metre mark. And he'll play it back to Paul Walsh. He gets the way to big Ross Matthews. The big destroyer goes. Get out of me road again. The blocker. He slips a pass out to Mervyn Cullen. They've got numbers out here again. Slips a pass to Taken well by Cameron Spencer there. He did well to pick that pass up. So they've got long at sixes and sevens here. They'll swing it across the open side. And Eddie said, where'd that go? I didn't see it. <laughs> he didn't want it either, Bill. It was that a big night, I think. Them little brown bottles are knocking us about. <laughs> I see another scrum go down. Now I saw Eddie last night. He wanted me to sing lullabies to him about 8 o'clock at the Globe. I see a scrum go down. Put in by the halfback and Ivers taken away and the referee's not happy with that. So we'll have it form again. The referee's there having some difficulty of trying to get these fellas together to bind. The long reach hooker still not in the scrum. Put in by long reach, taken away by Ivers. Bark on very quickly out of that scrum. They're doing that well, breaking from that scrum. Oh, knock forward. I think it's, no, he said play on. Long reach players come up with it again. That should be back to. No, it's play on, he said anyway. Long reach take it away. And good defence by Bark on there. He's got to keep that five metres here. Craney's got a tendency to run with the play and not worry about the five. It's gone forward. So we'll see another scrum go down. Unintentionally floated forward there. And we see a couple of uh, players come on for Longridge on the interchange here. They're looking to get on the field. There's number 17, Craig Roberts, and 14 is Lance Crosley. Taken away by Billy Bond. Gets out to Eddie Blue. Eddie said, I'll have a run this time. 
He picks up Billy at the back of one space. He's got a bill. The bill claps on the pace. He's headed for the corner, young Billy Bond. He ducks down the run and puts the ball in over the line. Well, I wasn't supposed to get the ball in, but Billy said, what am I doing with it? I might as well score. Another try to bark, Alden. And we'll see uh, the score now. Eight points to two with a kick to come. Eddie just got his second win of that 4X stubby in the way he went that time. Billy's starting to come to order now. Eight points to two. Billy scored all points at the moment. He'll be sending copies home to this one. Want a copy of the tape. And not a bad crowd in for the game. And a few people back for the uh, probably still hangers on from the uh, big race meeting yesterday and uh, the May Day March tomorrow. The big night last night, the ball uh, might have taken its toll on a few of these red fellas. I know the A graders didn't drink anything last night, Rob tells me. All the boys went to the knacker last night. And I look over there to the left uh, in the uh, Jack, Jack Thompson stand. It's pretty full at the moment. Crazy horse sitting under an umbrella there. A couple of good eskies there in front of him. But anyway, and Blue Javella cut his boot off. Another shocker. I think my little son that plays underage would probably kick it further than that and higher. Well, Christy might have had a big night last night too. He's probably seeing three balls and trying to hit the middle one. Yeah, there it is. That's the crazy horse, Dan. All loyal uh, St. George supporters and Parramatta supporters there. That wouldn't be, um, no, that definitely wouldn't be Esky sitting in front of him. It'd be full of water. Coke, is it? Yeah, oh, I thought they'd be drinking Coke too, those ways. It's, I think it'd be full of pious groom himself. I see I see uh, the cudgem there in front of the fence. Here we see the halfback to restart. Drives it downfield there, picked up by uh, Paulie Walsh. Says, I'll get it back out of my own 20, mate. 20 mark it up. He takes it well. He's still going. He's busting right through. Paul Walsh. Lashford comes at him and wraps him up. Takes a tackle. A good run there by Paul Walsh. They've got right through him there. Longish just fell off him. Kempson said, I'll have a run. He gets it up towards the half halfway line. He's met in solid defence there. Driven sideways there. By the replacement player and uh, Roberts it is for Longridge. Play it back now out of power. It comes across field. Billy knocks it backwards. Billy Bond says, I'm not too good at this bouncer ball. You've got to throw it at me. And he makes valuable metres, even though it's sideways, but into Longridge territory. Eddie says, give me a run here. Eddie said, I'm looking for support. And gains a few metres there and cutting underneath a good tackle. Christy Bleacher said, I'll go from dummy half. And he's caught him all unawares. Charged in there, taken by the Longridge player. And come off the Longridge player and go into touch. What will he play there? Going to rule that it's um, a bark all and feed. And a scrum to go down about 10 metres in from touch. And 10 metres from the Longridge line. So Barkle on the on the attack again with about seven minutes to go in this first half. And a big chance here to put points on the board, extra points on the board, just before the stroke of half time. And eight points to two it is, fed in by Bond. Taken away by Billy Bond, who spots an opening on the open side there, cuts back inside, and he said, I'll score another try here. Someone take the, stop, the top of that stubby, I'll score three. Back it comes Eddie. Eddie Bledger said, I'll go the blind side, slips a pass at the back. Who's it go to? It goes to uh, ja Johnny Power that keeps it alive. Big move. Cullen spots the open. Big move. Puts a head down. Slips a pass to Cameron Spencer. It is. It'll score the try out wide of the post. Well, they kept that ball alive there pretty well, the Red Six. Yeah, it's a good work there. Good ball skills too. There's uh, the guest speakers there playing up, mate, are they? Guest commentator. I'll have to have a yarn on him if he keeps that up. Cameron Spencer was a scored the try. About 10, 10 or so metres to the uh, left of the uprights as we look at him. And this time we'll see, uh, Billy says, well, Christie's had his go of the boot. He said, I'll have a couple of kicks here. And here we go there towards the uh, the Bundy Clark stand. That's pretty full too. A couple of umbrellas over there and a good crowd in. Real family atmosphere here. <laughs> Kids are sitting there in the sun. The boys are drinking stubbies. Here we see Billy Bond here. Line this kick up. 
Add a few more points. It's now 12 points to two. And he moves in. Oh, he's another shocker. Obviously, they've been watching the bark on under 16s from last Monday. They scored something like five tries and couldn't kick a goal in front of the sticks. Well, to lose the game 22 20, well, the crowd's calling out a kick, call, uh, call off a kick, another kicker or someone to cut their boot off. Bonnie's been taken off with that shock and kick. Eric's going to give him some lessons out the back of the back of the uh, chairs there. How to strike that ball. We see Ian Caveney come on for Billy Bond. He uses his interchange here to change his players around. David Roberts there takes the ball from the kickoff and runs it up towards the 22. And Parsons comes at him and drives him back in a good ball and all tackle. Uh, Longridge keen to get on the attack here, on the uh, defensive run here. And Paulie Walsh says, well, I'll get it out on my own. Own 22 and a good run it was too by Paul Walsh over the 20 metre mark. Dummy Arthur's powers looks for support, gets a pass away to Robertson. Roberts says, I'll have another run. He weren't good enough last time to knock me backwards. I'll go again. He'll play it back, Roberts. Gets from power to Christy Blues. He says, where's me support? Cuts through the first one, looks for support. He picks up, uh, can't pick that player up. And Rossi Matthews it is. Unloads well there, Bleacher. And Matthews plays it back near to power. Gets away to Paul Walsh. He'll give us another run. Young Walsh, he says, up towards the halfway line he goes. And taking a good good low tackle there, ball and all. By uh, Crosley it is. He'll play back to power. Power it comes across to Christy Bleacher. Puts it on the toe. It's touched along his player too. It couldn't be a hand over here. I know Longridge player picks it up. The big uh, winger and Myers comes across field and take it. No, he gets away from one. And the Longridge Barky Blacks drive at him and put him to ground. Spencer and Carl was. Longridge worked the open side. And the referee says you're offside. You're inside the five. All a bit eager there to get up and take the Longridge player. But no, you're relieving kick here for Longridge. And we see uh, he's found touch about right on the right on the halfway line. It is. He looks for support now, the, and he's got a runner in 17 for Longridge. Is uh, Nick? Lor uh, no, sorry, Craig Roberts. He'll play it back. Gets away from his hooker there, and it comes across field. I can't pick that player up. He ducks into high on 17. It is, and uh, Lawrence. It is. He's taken ball and all by uh, Christy Bleacher and K. They work the overside. The little halfback said, "Give me another run." Well, he has to stop crying, this little bloke. And he's driven backwards, a good solid tackle by Paul Walsh. They'll work the open side there. Big gap here, big pass. Cut out one or two, they've got the numbers out here. And pa old Parsons said, I can't catch it. Well, he's got to be in an offside position. It's just a reflex thing. A reflex to dive on that pill when you see it. Called a uh, timeout here, the injured player for Barcorden. I guess Johnny Power is uh, down injured. Johnny Powers back on his feet now. The referee rules time back on. So Bar calling to fine touch. And Christy Bleacher puts it into touch and a good kick down towards the 20 metre mark. Just outside the Longridge 22. And we'll see a tap restart. And Jason Pierce it is. Brings it back. Gives it to Kempson there for the restart. Picks up Mervyn Cullen who runs across field there. Tries to straighten the attack there. Gets it up over the 20, 20 metre mark. He'll play back. Kemp's in the dummy half. He says, I'll go on my own. Down the middle he goes. And gains a few more metres all across the ground. He is. Power dummy half there. They look for support. He goes on his own. Power says, I'll score myself. And Johnny Power scored the try. And I was at home there. He caught Longish at sixes and sevens. And uh, not a defensive line set. And a try to uh, John Power there. Used his brain there. And gone through the opening. Uh, right in the stroke of half time with about a minute to go. We'll see... Uh, Barkle now lead, I think it's 16 points to two. 
Yeah, four tries to nil at the moment. 16-2, and, and uh, no one's even uh, gone close to kicking the goal. Johnny Power said, well, I'll show him here. And I'll, uh, and I'll hook her here. He'll probably heal it straight over. <laughs> no, John's just asked me, they, can they throw it over? I said, um, I don't think so, mate. I don't allow this here. This is more like the uh, conventional way of trying to kick a goal. Anything that's close to the post, um, I think it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably be lucky to see the top bar. He moves in and strikes it well, no problem at all. And he's just showing uh, Billy and Christy how to do it. Stand the ball straight up and down and, and move into it in a straight line. The oldest trick going. And a great conversion there. Converted his own try, so 18 points to two. And it goes to half time, Hooter, so that's the half time score. And we'll return you to all studios here. A word from the uh, sponsors. The boys are full of pious groom over there. Look at them. Still drinking to him. <laughs> the crazy horse stand. Just uh, adjusted the old shade angle there. Look out. He looks like he's still riding this horse. <laughs> well, here we see uh, we're short in half here because the uh, A-grade game has to be underway by 3.45, so this half will be shortened somewhat. Down the middle goes Big Mervyn. Good run too. Gets it up towards the halfway line. And he's taking in a fair smack on the forehead there. And he can't play the ball, so uh, it's cow on the dummy half, spins it back inside and picks up Coveney. Young Coveney, you see Coveney driven backwards. Good ball, all tackle there by the young halfback and replacement for Longridge and uh, Crosley. Uh, Bleacher says, give us it here, and he said, I'll go on my own. And gets, out, gets knocked one bloke out of the road. He'll play there now, fourth tackle, says the referee. Back it comes now from Paulie Walsh, who gets it across field there, Coveney, and Coveney said, I'll run myself again. He's elusive, this Coveney. Only a couple of seasons of football, he's lost the ball forward, and the referee says, no, you can't pull it out. You've raked it out in the tackle. So long reach under pressure here. Now well, they can have a shot at goal. And Johnny Power would probably kick this. He kicked that no problems in the other end. No, it's going to be Christy Blue. She's going to have a shot at goal. They're yeah, looking for the same boy, and on comes the young fella here. I think it's young Stevenson. A little sand boy runs, a bo runs it out to him. No, it's not young Hewlett. And Bleacher to attempt the shot. And out, uh, probably 30 metres out. From the longest try line. And uh, right virtually in front of the sticks. And around the corner kick of this bloke. And he had a shock of the first attempt. And moves in and strikes it pretty well this time. And up go the flags. And no problem there. So he's made amends for the shot where he kicked before, but 20 points to two. And this game's been shortened in the second half, so only a couple of minutes gone in the second half. I think it'll be down to about a 20-minute second quarter, this one. Uh, second half. So uh, because the A-grade has to be on by 3.45 on the field. So we see uh, the hooker in Graveson to restart for Longridge. And he drives it down the same position there. Kempson comes across and picks it up. Oh, he's knocked it on. Longridge player's picked it up. Oh, bad mistake there. Should have taken it on the fuller right? Back it comes through. Uh, Parsons is it. Gains a few metres. Straightens the ruck up there towards the goal post. He's lost the ball. And I'd say Barkle and... Uh, Concede the penalty here, they ripped that ball out in the tackle. Quick tap there, I can't pick that player up, it's a little hooker it is. He's driven sideways and good tackle there, uh, Kempson and Co. Bring him to ground. 
Back it comes now, the little halfback Ivers says, I've got me outside centre here. Cuts back inside and gains a few metres, taken low there and over the top. Big move, was it? Big move, Cohen. And underneath was Roberts. They'll work the opens, a little halfback Ivers hasn't stopped trying for longish. And he's held up there, about uh, still about 10 metres out from Barkhorn's line. They'll work the open side. Back it comes to the big prop. Oh, it's taken low and good tackle too. And then well to scramble here, Barkhorn, and hold on. Hold that defensive line. Fourth tackle, and the referee says, hello, no, penalty to Longridge. You're not standing square in the tackle. And then he's pinched Barkhorn again. So they'll take another quick tap, will they? They're looking for runners here. The hooker says, where's my runners? No one wants it. And they'll swing it back across to the halfback. Crossfielder goes to replacement play in 17 as uh, Roberts it is for Longridge. He's still going. Well, the referee mustn't have called hell. He stopped and then all the bark, all the fellas fell off him. And he's gone through and scored. So Longridge have hit back. Uh, against uh, what we were watching in the play, um, he's caught everyone unawares and snuck through and scored a try. So they had 20 points to six and a kick to come. Long as you got back and uh, scored a try there and only uh, minutes after resumption of the uh, last point scored. So 20 points to six and a kick to come. There's a little hooker for Long which it is as Graveson's about to line this up. And he's uh, just pushed it to the right of the post. So no no goal. And the score still remains 20 points to 6 with about uh, 5 or so minutes. Maybe 10 minutes gone. Less than 10 minutes gone in this uh, second half. We'll see uh, Billy Bond the restart. Look out, she fell over. <laughs> she fell over after kicking her. Picked up by the lock for Longwich and uh, Blunt. But it is Phil Butt. He plays it back now to his hooker, Grayson, gets it away. To uh, goes to nobody, picked up by the little centre. and uh, Jackson it is. He takes a tackle on the 20 metre mark by, by Kempson uh, Power it was. I'll play it across now to the replacement player, 17, and Roberts, who's met in good defence here. Underneath was Kempson, and over the top was Bo um, Eddie Butcher. They'll work the open side, Longridge. Trying to get away from their own 22. Little winger says, I'll go on my own, the number five. And takes a tackle there, and it was young Ryan Dikonoski. Back it comes now to the replacement player again, and Roberts. He gains a few more metres, and he's taken underneath by John Power and Scott Cowan, it was. Downfield, they kick it to get it out of here and taken easily by uh, Jason Hayward. Runs it down the cricket pitch area into Longridge territory. About 10 metres to say. He'll play back now to Billy Bond. Says, I'll go on my own. And away he goes and gains another few metres down the middle. And bumps one or tries to bump one or two out of the road and taken well by the tackle there. Jason Pierce says, I'll have a run with it. Runs sideways and tries to straighten it. Cuts back inside. Yeah, he's running to touch. <laughs> well, someone will have to show him where the white line is. They make him walk the white line. He's probably put a few fellas over it himself. I'll see a scrum go down right on the 20 metre mark. Put in by Dikonoski. Taken away there by Long for Longridge. Uh, I can't pick that player. I think it was number 12, was it? No, six, sorry. And it was uh, Lock, Rob Lock. Back it comes to the little hooker there and dives underneath one or two and driven back by Robertson Co. And it was uh, Graveson. Still around the 20 metre mark, trying to get out of the rain territory longage. Back it comes now to the second row. And ba Barkle will move up and meet him. Good defence there. And taking the ground by Billy Bond and Co. Scott Cowan. And Cla Anthony Walker it was. And back it comes now to the centre. He says, I'll oh, get it out of here. And chips a little kick over the top of the defence there. Coming through and drives into young Hayward. And play on says the referee back to first. Yeah, he picks out his winger and Myers there and is driven sideways. A good good tackle there. Finished off over the top by John Power and uh, 
Jason Pierce. Parsons says, I'll go down the sideline there and gains valuable metres. He's taking ball and all. And he gets up there and plays the cross field there. Longridge bring it across field there. And oh, and a good drive and tackle there. And thrown over the top of Paulie Walsh there. Says, come to ground. Longridge worked the open side. They've got numbers here. He switched back to the blind side. What the hell he did that for? Young Dickinoski said, I've got an opening down the middle. I'll go all the way. My little fella's gone through and scored. Young Ryan Dickinoski has scored a try. Out of the middle of the uprights. So they've hit back Longridge. Very disorganised, the red uh, six there. Found wanting their sixes and sevens and uh, unable to hold that defensive line. So 20 points to 10. Come. Anyway, you see the flags go up there, so the try has been converted. Twenty points to twelve of um, about ten minutes gone. Yeah, scoreboard's a bit out. Hey Dave, scoreboard, mate. Tell them it's twenty-twelve. Twenty-four. Now you see the kick restarted there by Barkall and taken by Lashford. A little fullback runs it up there and. Doesn't get through the defence. A good tackle there by uh, Scott Keown, it was. I might have known. He knows how to tackle this fella. So he comes in to Myers. Says, I'll run it sideways and gets up towards the 20 metre mark. Good run. No roll across Philly along way through Dickinoski. Picks up his outside centre. And, and uh, Mark Jackson it is. He takes it just over the 20 metre mark. Good back on the defence there. They bring it across Philly. Uh, and taken their way by Roberts. And he's met in solid defence by Kempson. Back it comes there for a clear and kick. And the centre says we'll get out of here, Searle says we'll drive it downtown and this time uh, Jason Hayward's in position and takes the ball and takes the tackle. He's right on the halfway line, just inside long territory. Jason Pierce gets a pass away now to Cameron Spencer. He goes across field there and he's easy meeting they put in the ground. About 10 metres inside uh, Longridge territory. Back here comes the Billy Bond says where is me support and does a bit of a jeep there and cuts back inside. Don't let him lay down too long, he'll go to sleep. Johnny Powers says, I'll go the other way. He runs away from support. Looks for it now, fires a pass out of a Kempson who couldn't hold the ball. And we'll see a scrum go down. So another scrum to go down to be fed in by uh, Ryan Dickinoski. He's moved to halfback. We're in the number five jersey. Red six they're unorganised and trying to form a scrum up here. I don't know, John, the uh, barbecue smells pretty nice. Whatever they're cooking down there is getting the uh, dilate in the nostrils here. <laughs> Put in by Longridge, taken away, and the referee's not happy with that. We'll have it again. Puts it in there now and takes it away. Oh, Mervyn Cullen, she... <laughs> I don't think he even packed in that scrum to get around there that quick. <laughs> <laughs> so I see a penalty to Longridge. And it'll relieve some pressure for them. I'll be able to get out of their own half. And I just see in there now, it's the 5-8. Uh, and Rob Lock there drives towards the, the halfway line. The halfway point there and finds touch. So I see uh, Cracker Aylitz on the field. Uh, he's replaced, uh, I'm trying to think who he replaced. Might be Johnny Power. And you'll see uh, Parsons there. said, I'll run down the middle. And Mervyn Cullen very slow to his feet. He drank a bit of the health of Pius Groom last night. She's not going too well, the big fella. Now oh, he's gone without it. Lost the ball forward. Well, that's got to be a, got to be a knock on. The referee says he's that far in front of the play. He wouldn't know. Back it comes now across the open side. And remember, oh, and Christy Bleacher drives in the ground. Well, he's made up for it there. He's drilled it. 
He's ruled a uh, knock-on, so we'll see a scrum go down. Midway between the quarter and the halfway line. And Bark Holden's territory. To be put in by Billy Bond here. Only minutes remaining in this second half. Billy Bond says we'll work the blind side and throws a pass out the back, picks up Eddie. Eddie looks for Cameron Spencer, who claps on the pace, is young Spencer. And he's taken towards the touch line, good, def good defence, but gains valuable metres. Jason Pierce says, I'll come on my own. And he likes the sideline, this fella. Pierce plays it back now to Cameron Spencer, gets to Billy Bond, looks for runners. <laughs> Billy never let the ball go there. He had a big quacker there, hitting the ball up at knots there and never got the ball. Eddie Bridges says, I'll take it. Look at it, it comes fast, Ed. Too late, he's in there. <laughs> and a good tackle there by Parsons and Cohen, bring him to ground. He'll play it across, they work it backwards. Knockbacks is a the referee. They're very lucky there, Bark Alden. All running, wanting the ball, but no one wants to take the ball. Back it comes out of Billy Bond says, I'll go the, go the blind side again. Little Puts a little grubber kick through or chip kick through. Goes backwards, picked up by Myers. He's hunted down by the Barkle and defenders and Scott Cowan comes at him and mows him down. And finished off by Johnny Power it is. Taken away by Roberts, the replacement player for Longridge. <laughs> Billy Bond's been caught offside, so another relieving kick for Longridge. And uh, I'll see Longridge through the little 5 8 and uh, Rob Lock will attempt to find touch. And he doesn't know problems there. About 10 metres in from touch and uh, 10 metres inside Longridge territory. Taken away by the big uh, replacement player in 14 is Crosley. He gains metres there up towards the halfway line. He'll play back now. It comes across to Dekanowski. Finds his second row there. Oh, and he ducks under a jersey sling there. Bit of a running course in there by uh, Quacker Ale there. Back it goes, the, they work the open side long and slung the ground there and a good tackle by Bleacher. They said, come here, read it like the back of a book. He said, Grant sells us round the ground. Oh, another good tackle, he drove him backwards. Well, he's fired up this Christy Bleacher. And he, lo he loves to tackle this fellow. He drives another one out, so three tackles in a row from Bleacher. And good defence. Long don't know where to go here. Oh, that was great. Great work there by the little centre who showed the forwards what they do. So we'll see a handover. Back it comes the big Quacker Aylett. Looks as a port pass it back into Roberts. The Kiwi goes down the middle. And gains valuable metres. He'll play it back now to Mervyn Cullen, the dummy half. Mervyn Cullen says, I'll go on my own. Crossfield, it goes the big fella. Spots the try line. The big fella still going. Turn the tackle there. And held up by the longest defence and put the ground by Nikonoski and Kay and Roberts it was. They'll work the open side bark. And they've got numbers here. Billy Bond, Billy Whipper there it. He cuts through the middle, he's still going, Bill said, I'll score myself. And he's gone in for another one, he's got number three. Another try. On a feed, he stubbies every week. So he scored another one, just adjacent to the face. So that should well and truly wrap it up there. 24 points to 12, the kick to come. So Bleacher to attempt his own conversion. Uh, taking his time about this. And yeah, moves in there. Strikes it pretty well uh, and then waved away across the face of the goalie. Slightly to the left and... Uh, So 24-12, with only minutes remaining. And not a bad hit out for the reserve graders. 
they've been short of games and uh, with a fixture starting next week, this game will do them no world of good. Double Dutch, yeah. I've probably swallowed a couple of those big cakes last night with that black rum in them too. Back it comes now to <laughs> Scott Cow on the restart. Runs across further there. Tries to go past uh, over the top of Diganowski and finished off there. Who's that number 18 for a long Where did he come from? He'd have to be a front, I think, looking at him. I can't pick that player. I think it's Barney Frankie, his name is. Anyway, another good run there for Barkle. Down the middle is Roberts, I think it was. Go across field there. Bar uh, Barkle and through Billy Bond. Looks for outside support. He's got men screaming. He could score another one, Bill. Score three, he'll score four. Hey, Buck, just come back a bit, mate. Back it comes the big quacker, Arlen. And he's taking the ground by Barney and Kay there. He'll play back near to Hayward. Gets a pass back to Billy Bond. And we've got no runners. Picked up by Spencer, who's gone. And he said the referee said it's gone gone forward. And we'll, we'll have a handover, will we? Yes, we will. On the fifth tackle. Now he wants him back five metres. The boys obviously never read the signal then, but a hand over it is. Well, on the fifth tackle it was. Back it comes now to uh, the replacement player there for Longwich. I think it's Mull, Tony Mull, his name is. He'll go again himself. Well, that, he'd have to be offside. <laughs> Dave Roberts has been caught offside. Well, you must must let him get to his feet. Yeah, but he's got to still stand and square. He must stand square in front of the... Uh, Player playing the ball. Anyway, another penalty to Longridge. Back it comes down to the replacement player. I think it's Crosley who hits it down the middle. Gains a valuable metres up towards the 20 metre mark. Deep in Barkle and Territory. We'll come across field now. Comes it out to the replacement player and Barney and they're all keen to tackle this fella. A mobile brick this break. And taken well by Kempson underneath. I might have known and Christy Blucher was. They'll work it back to blindside Longridge. Back it comes across field from Roberts there, dives under one to two, and driven sideways, still going. He's lost the ball. What's the referee going to call here? He must have called hell and he's lost the ball. Anyway, he said, you've ripped it out. Penalty to Longridge. They brought this bloke down with him. They'll probably take him home too. And we'll see a fine touch about oh, five or ten metres out from the bar holding line. Another replacement player of the fast, I think that's Dave Perry, is it? Anyway, we see Longridge through. Roberts there drives towards the trial and then driven back. Good defence by the Reds. Back it comes across field now. They worked the out. Dickonowski said, I'll go on my own again. He has. He's got through and scored. Well, I thought they had him wrapped up there, but the little legs got him over the line. Young uh, Ryan Dickonowski, it was. He scored the try. Right on the pace again. As he did just uh, only moments before. Uh, we'll see a long which hit back. It's now 24 points to 16, is it? Yeah, 24 16 with a kick to come. Now the kick was successful and 24-18. Uh, that could nearly end up, end up the uh, final score here. Moments to go here in this uh, second half. Uh, Billy Bond drives it down towards the winger and Myers. He's taken by uh, Pierce and Cohen, driven back. Cohen it was too, helps him wrap him up. Barney said, I'll go, go for myself, go myself from down the Myers says, we'll have a fight. We'll stack on the blue. Young Cohen doesn't mind a jump in there. So. 
the big fella behind, he said, I'll have a go too. <laughs> There's a few hundred on the ground here. <laughs> yeah, the big cracker. Big <laughs> Boys are into it here. <laughs> I bought the crowd the life of nothing else. <laughs> Never bruised a grave here, they're still going. <laughs> Reverie says, come here when you're finished. Reverie says, we'll just wait till they're finished. Bring them across here. And the uh, old Bill there, she had more form than Johnny Sharman there, bouncing around. A little bit of a melee there. The boys uh, resent a couple of tackles. I think uh, that young Morris made the mistake of pulling Coveney on. The instigators have been called out here. Billy's in there. Billy's been called out too. Well, he's the captain, I suppose. He'll have to listen to what's being said here. And Bleacher. What about number two, you clown? Number two started for Longridge. Myers. He's off. What about Myers, number two for Longridge? And now the referee sent uh, young Coveney from the field. Oh, what? Um, Cabney was a bloke that actually tackled the uh, Myers. At, and he's had a bit of resent of the tackle, this young Myers, and gone on with it. The referee's here still trying to work out what's happened over here. And uh, the young s the sideline is still laying it down. He's trying to work out what's going to happen here. Uh, what's he done now? He's walked a penalty to Longridge, bro. You know, watch this on replay tonight. Who you instigated the blue? It's all there on film. No, it definitely was. I saw it. Yeah, I looked back down here to see who started because I, I actually couldn't find out who kicked it off. I thought it was Myers who was tackled last. And we see the replacement player, the big number 16 for Longridge and Mole it is. They're driven backwards, good ball, all tackle. Well, they stirred the red fellas up anyway. They've done nothing else. They're a man down, they're going to let them know anyway. Anyway, they'll be sorry they might have set this fella off. They should have let him stay there. They're coming across fairly long. We say moving across the open side, cut back inside. Looks as a port again on the open side. Myers, Myers. <laughs> they all covered this fella. <laughs> yeah, Myers was just taken well and brought a little tackle by Dave Roberts. And long as driver down, taken underneath by uh, the Bassius here it was. A good tackle. Play it back now with a little hooker at his eye, and he's had a bit of a bow peep. Young Dekanoski was, he's knocked it on. Yeah, it's a bark on feed. F yeah, it's got to be a bark on feed. Uh, the longest player's knocked it on first. Anyway, we see uh, put in by Billy Bond there. Taken away by Bill, who gets it up towards the halfway line, and sat upon by the big fella and Frankie. Way back now, it comes to Hayward, who's been brought into the dummy half. Rolling young Hayward there, driven backwards by 17 and Craig Roberts. Back it comes out, Eddie Bleach has been a bit quiet, Ed. She's hit, hit on the juice here now, gets it up over the halfway line. Those four examples are starting to f fairly uh, pinch there. Back it comes to Kempson now, who gains very four metres down towards the uh, 22, mid midway between the 22 and the halfway. Back it comes now from Dave Perry, the uh, big constable's on the field there. Gets a pass away to Quacker Island. And down the uh, touch line he goes. Dummy half is uh, Perry again. Across to Billy, Billy Bond says, I'll kick it across field. And the big Myers here's got the ball. Lavas here goes underneath and wraps him up. He can't go anywhere. This young Myers. He'll play it back now. It comes to uh, the replacement player in Mould. Number 16 it is. And taken by uh, the wingers there in Lavas. And uh, anyway, back it comes down to Dick and Oski. He said, me and the little fella. Yeah, not a bad game for Longridge, this fella. Taken again by Scott Cowan. Back it comes to Mole. Mole gets a pass out to uh, Frankie and driven sideways. Kempson gets underneath him and puts him to ground. 
Little Hooker says, I'll go on my own down the middle. There's a big gap there. That's the last is a referee. Taken well by Billy Bond. They'll work the open side long reach. Shrew Jackson. He gets it across field now. It'll go under touch. And he found touch down there. About 10 metres in from uh, in in Barkholden territory. We'll see a scrum go down with the Barkholden feed. In the dying seconds of the second half. Twenty-five to no, yeah. So we're about twenty-five to twenty-five to four. So they've got to be off the field very shortly um, because of the A grade's got to be on the field. Boy, uh, three forty-five. Back it comes out. Barkley through Billy Bond works a run around with uh, Eddie Bleacher. Cuts back inside. Bill still going. Gets a pass out to J John Perry. The big Perry uh, gets put past to uh, Spencer. Who finds the bass here. here. Still going, a good run by the young fella. Hung on to that ball well. Oh, he's pulled the ball off him. He's held him down there, the referee says. We're not happy with that. And the crowd says that's bad enough to. <laughs> and Billy Bond says, I'll oh, put it in the touch. Oh, and she's skewed off the side of the boot, but Bill's put her in the touch. He's made sure of her. Oh, about uh, 10 metres out, Eddie Bridges said, I'll go for the try on myself. She's burst through, oh, a metre out. I'll well, tell, tell Eddie about that one tonight. Back it comes the young Hayward who puts it down. He's put it down. No, he's been held up. The referee says he's been held up. Fine, Red, you get the feed again. We'll see a scrum go down about 10 metres out, 10 in from touch. Put in by Billy Bond, taken away, he works the open side, cuts back inside. Hang on to that ball, they're screaming out. Bill's still going. <laughs> Let go of me, he said. I want to play it, Bill, play it back here now. Back it comes to young Hayward, he gets it away to it. Jason and his Pierce, he gets a pass outside to big, big Dave Perry, it is, and held up only metres out. He will play it back. Back it comes, they work the open side again. Knocked backwards to the referee, picked up by Scott Cowan, who goes across the open side. He's about 10 metres out, driven backwards there. Lost ground bar going back to Eddie Bleacher. So I'll send it wire. Uh, Cameron Spence has gone without it. Long which will come up with it. So only about five, six metres out from their own line. Back it comes across now. Um, I think it's... Uh, I can't pick that long which player up. Taken well by Spencer. Another replacement player. He skirts it. Little halfback's back on the field again. He's made a break and he's taken by Dave Perry and Co. there. They put him to the ground. I can't pick that player with no number. I think it's young Chucky Wakefield. Yeah, he's on the field. He doesn't mind the work either, this little break. Only a light, fo light footballer. Not a bad little fullback. And long Longreach all set to kick it then, and they decide to get in the blind side again for another run. Slips a pass back to Mole. What's he really in here? He's called held, I think. So we'll have a scrum go down, the bar call and feed. Fair enough. The referee's made a right decision there. Lee Crane hasn't a bad game. I think he could have done with a bit more help in that blue, but uh, obviously the sideline is giving him the wrong information. Now yeah, we see the full-time heater, and the referee said blow it up as full-time. So 24 points to 18. They're not a bad game. Very really sloppy in patches, but um, quite entertaining. The last couple of minutes there, and a bit of a Donny look uh, excited the crowd. And no one was worse for wear, but anyway, uh, the final score, 24-18. And we'll see the main game get underway about uh, five or ten minutes' time. The main game here, the Mosscook Trophy Challenge. Longwich was the first to uh, challenge for it in uh, 1993. The referee today is Victor Anderson from Winton. Touch judges, um, Jeffrey Easton and Malcolm Wright from Bark Alden. I'll just go through the teams. Bark Alden, number one, Tony Bashford. Number two, Nathan Schrag. Number three, Wayne Osborne. Number four, Martin Crow. Five, Garth Crawley. Six, Mark Hardbottle. Seven, Liam Balderson. Eight, Dave Bidoff. Nine, Mick Hayward. Ten, David Kerrigan. Eleven, Rob Goodger. Twelve, Danny Arthur. Thirteen, Lyle Balderson. Fourteen, reserve, uh, Reserves, Greg Wilson. Fifteen, Cameron Bleacher. Sixteen, Ross Matthews. And seventeen, John Power. And I'll just go through the longest side. Number one, Aaron Roberts. 
Two, Scott Ridderford. Three, Danny Lawrence. Four, Mick Farley. Five, Richard Moore. Six, Darren Slade. Seven, Gavin Ballard. Eight, Scott Misley. Nine, Steve Searles. Twelve, Tony Russell. Thirteen, Graham Cross. Uh, sorry, and uh, Glenn, Glenn Davies, number nine. Lyle Midgley, ten. Uh, Graham Cross, 13. Sorry, Shane McMa McCarthy, McCarthy uh, 14. 15, Paul McCarthy. Uh, 16, Robert Dikonoski, and 17, Mark Jackson. And we see the Red Fellas out on the field here. And uh, very keen for their first defence. I see uh, David Kerrigan made his comeback this year and a few runs for the Central West against uh, Calloway Dawson and, and other games south against Southwest and Midwest. I've also played uh, Central Highlands here, and the big fellas had a run on. Uh, made made the comeback pretty well. And he'd be keen to show his wares here against the old team in Longridge. And old, old foes. Um, boys in the huddle there. Here come the Longridge forward. Forwards uh, let out by uh, the big fella in Steve Searles. Playing second row today. Uh, big Scotty Misley making an appearance for Longridge too. I see he's taken over the uh, running of the pub up there. And old, um, actually played for Bark Hall a couple of seasons ago. And uh, an old Winton player. He'd done the done the mill of the teams around the West. I think the only team he wouldn't have played for would have been probably Black Hall. Um, carrying a bit of excess luggage there too, the big fella. We've got a minute of silence here to uh, one of the um, last um, Solid Cup players and Mr. Goodman it was. I can't remember his first name. Let's catch that from Davey. Bill Goodman it was, yep. And they've asked for a minute of silence. Obviously, Longridge has won the toss and elected uh, to uh, run from the uh, hospital into the ground. And we'll see, uh, trying to work out who's going to kick off for Bark Hall. Bashford it is, Tony Bashford will move up and do the kicking duties from the centre point of halfway. Uh, boys lined up, a couple of lads sporting uh, quite uh, short haircuts there. Big buff half there, he's got a pretty uh, smart cut. Call the old basin cutter. Anyway, play gets underway and start off by down to uh, big Lyle, Lyle Misley picks up in Rusty. And he comes across field there. And uh, taking the ground, Tony Russell it is. He'll play back, Kempson, uh, Kerrigan it was there in defence. Back it comes now, I can't pick that player. He's driven the ground there. Back it comes now to big Scott Misley and they drive inside as the big fella. Taking the ground low by Goodger. And over the top, finished off by Hardbottle. Hardbottle chasing the kick here, chased the player and sells. It's a hurried kick away then, drives it downfield. Comes across, uh, comes Bashford there. Takes it about 10 metres out from his own line. He'll run it back. Runs it away from the first def defender and takes a tackle. We've got them uh, at numbers here. Lawrence here, hold the defensive line, can they? Shrag says, I'll go on my own. Young Shrag, he gets out of one. Gets a pass away. Picked up by... Uh, the hooker, I think it was for Barcoolen. 
Michael Hayward. We'll play it across now to uh, Big Dave Bidoff it is. He gains valuable metres uh, up towards the halfway line. He's set upon by the longest defence. We'll take it across field by uh, the little fella and uh, Ballison gets it away to Kerrigan. Gains valuable metres there. He'll set it across the open side. Picks up Lyle Ballison off his brother Liam. Inside the Liam, a little halfback's got half an opening. He's away. He ducks under the high one and dragged the ground. A good run by the little halfback on the fifth tackle. They work the blind side, they've still got numbers out wide here. There's an overlap for sure, they must score, they throw the ball, big Garth Crawley's in. Oh, the stick scored, have a look at that. They call him Splitter. She scored in the corner. Well, good ball work there from Osmond and Co. They kept that ball alive on the fifth tackle there. Well, you've never seen a better set of six than that one. So they've drawn first blood. And he's first in an A grade, young Crawley scored a try. He'll remember that one for a long time. The flying winger. Pace to burn, they reckon. So we see, um, I just want to pick who the kicker is. Is it Lyle Ballson, is it? Going to kick the goal? Number nine, Michael Hayward, is it? It is, Michael Hayward. Attempt the uh, conversion. So four points to nil with only a couple of minutes gone this first half. Uh, very keen to uh, put the pressure on there, Bark Allen, and keep that pressure on. Hayward there strikes the ball pretty well. And it's just fallen un across the face of the upright. So four points to nil. And Longish to bring the ball back to the centre here. To be restarted here. I can't pick that player's number. Is it number seven that just kicked that? I can't pick him, mate. Anyway, longest restart, driven down to Lyle Ball, said old Gamio and Big Kerrigan. David Kerrigan said, I'll settle it down the middle. Get out of me, Road. He's heading, makes it up towards the 20 metre mark. Haywood a dummy half there, looking for support. He's got Robbie Goodger, the big second row there. Straightens it up and gets sat on his backside. Bet all, all cells would ever use would be a big arm. He wouldn't tackle anyone, he wouldn't bend that low. He'd probably come out of the second best too. And Kerrigan straightens it up down the middle. Good just says, I'll go again. Where are you now, Selzy? He'll have another run. Lurking out in the wing there, looking for water. Back it comes now for young Ballison. Said, I'll straighten it up down the middle again. Ducks under a high one. Good defence there for Longridge. Midgley and Cow was. Back it comes for fifth and last. And Bash, he said, we'll put it across field. And drive towards touch and a good looking kick too. It's a top kick. A top kick there. And a fine touch about 20 metres out from the Longridge line. And a scrum to go down 10 metres in. So the first scrum of the match to go down in here. Fed in by young uh, Ballard, it is for Longridge. Take it away. They do a run around there. Comes without it. He keeps going the winger. And uh, Richard Moore it is. No, it's not, is it? Moore? Go and pick him up, mate. I think it is. The big Scott Misley said, I'll have a run here. That was loyal. <laughs> and Rusty said, I'll have a run there and taken underneath a good tackle there for Bark Holland and Martin Crow. Uh, finished off by Kerrigan. Big Sells, he run him wide of the ruck. is about his only way to run is wide of the ruck. Taken well underneath there by Bashford. Sells, he said, we'll get it downtown and kick it into touch. He said, no one wants to run with it, I don't. Uh, we'll see it. Fine touch. Right on the 20 metre mark. Another we'll scrum to go down. We'll see a bark all and feed. So they'll be at five minutes gone in this first half. And fed in by Longridge. I don't understand that here. Longridge come to feed that mate. But anyway, taken away. They've got an overlap here. The young wingers head for the corner. He'll score. He's put the ball down. The winger for Longridge, number two, and Scott Ridderford has scored. So Longridge have hit back, and the score is now four points all with a kick to come. 